accused of misusing millions, but too poor to pay for his own defense. Jacksonville City Council member Reginald Brown faces fraud and money laundering charges. Indeed he does, but he says after being suspended from the city council, he's only making $500 a month. First Coast News reporter Eric Alvarez joins us live at the courthouse to explain what happens next. Eric? Well, what happens next is Reginald Brown will get a court appointed lawyer next week. Now, Katrina Brown also has not been able to secure her own attorney in the two weeks since their indictment. Reginald and Katrina Brown walking into federal court defenseless. Neither responds to a barrage of questions from reporters. Would you like to comment anything, Mr. Brown? Katrina Brown claims her family's medical problems kept her from securing an attorney for the upcoming trial, while Reginald Brown says he can't afford one. Governor Rick Scott suspended both from service June 1st. They're still on the council, but the suspension freezes their city's salary of about $49,000. That adds up to just over $4,000 a month. Since the suspension, Reginald Brown says his only income is a $500 monthly check from the Army Reserves. He told the judge he only has $2,000 in savings. His only assets, his home and three vehicles worth less than $5,000 apiece. I caught up with him after the judge granted his request for a court-appointed lawyer. What role did the suspension play in your current financial situation? He doesn't answer. Excuse me. While it's unlikely, if convicted on all charges, he could face up to 601 years in prison. Katrina Brown, up to 720 years. The indictment alleges she took out more than $3 million in loans and grants with the promise of creating 56 jobs in northwest Jacksonville. Prosecutors say those jobs never materialized and that the money was then funneled to RB Packaging, owned by Reginald Brown, who prosecutors say kept some for himself and sent the rest back to accounts controlled by Katrina Brown. Reginald Brown did not answer questions about the case, but says he does not plan to resign from the city council. No, sir, I'm not guilty. Now, the judge in this case will appoint Reginald Brown's attorney on Monday. As for Katrina Brown, she's been given an additional week to lock in her lawyer so this case can continue. Both of these individuals are due back here in federal court a week from today at 2 p.m. Eric Alvarez, First Coast News, on your side.